Good morning, today's lesson is 10.4. Today we're gonna to explore area of trapezoids. Our essential question, what is the relationship between the areas of trapezoids and parallelograms? Connect. A trapezoid is a quadrilateral with exactly one pair of parallel sides. The parallel sides are the bases of the trapezoid. So base two, base one. So these are my parallel lines, that's considered base one and base two. A line segment drawn at a 90 degree angle to the two bases is the height. So there's my 90 degree angle and there's that line, okay? You can use what you know about the area of a parallelogram to find the area of a trapezoid. So the materials are paper, but we can just look at the sample here. It says to draw two copies of the trapezoid on grid paper and cut out the trapezoid. Arrange the trapezoid to form a parallelogram as shown in as the example here. So what they did is they, where that perpendicular line was, they cut it and then they moved it to the other side, right? So how can you find the length of a base of the parallelogram? Well, you can add the length of the shorter base of the trapezoid to the length of the longer base of the trapezoid. So I would take the six units, let me move this down just a tiny bit. You're gonna take the six units from here and you're gonna add it to the three units. So the base of the parallelogram is gonna be the shorter side, which is three units, plus the six units, and you're gonna end up getting nine units. The height of the parallelogram, it's right here, there's my height, is four units. So the area of the parallelogram, parallelogram is this nine units where I added my base plus my height um, times the height, I'm sorry, where I added my two bases is the nine units. And I multiply that times the height, which is four, and nine times four is 36 square units. Let's examine the trapezoid. How does the area of one trapezoid relate to the area of the parallelogram? The area of one trapezoid is half the area of the parallelogram. Find the area of one trapezoid and explain how you found the area. So the answer is 18 square units. And the way I got that is I found the area of the parallelogram, which was 36. Remember, we did it just above. So half times 36 equals 18, because half of 36 is 18. Drawing conclusions. Identify relationships. Explain how knowing how to find the area of a parallelogram helped you find the area of a trapezoid. So just like a triangle, the area of each trapezoid is half of the par parallelogram. Number two, use your results from the investigation to describe how you can find the area of any trapezoid. So you're gonna add the two bases together, the top one and the bottom one, and then you're gonna multiply it by the height, and finally you're gonna divide the answer by two or multiply by half. Generalizing, so it looks like this actually, let me write this out. So it's, it's base one plus base two multiplied by the height, and then you're gonna times it by a half, or if you take that off, you could just take this and you can divide by two. Generalizing, can you use the method you described above to find the area of a trapezoid if two copies of the trapezoid can be arranged to form a rectangle? Explain. So you can use the model that they used in the very beginning, um, but with a rectangle, the difference would be that you wouldn't be dividing it by half. You would just do the two sides together. So let's make connections. You can use the formula for the area of a rectangle to find the area of some trapezoids. So on this one, they want us to trace this and cut out the copies. So arrange the two trapezoids to form a rectangle and examine the rectangle. The length of the rectangle is gonna be this nine plus the five, okay? So nine plus five, which equals 14 centimeters. So this plus this is 14 centimeters. And the width of the rectangle is right here, it's three centimeters. So the area of the rectangle is 14 times the three equals 42. So it says, how does the area of the trapezoid relate to the area of a rectangle? Well, the area of the, each trapezoid is half the area of a rectangle. And the way they get that is because when I'm doing this, I'm actually essentially, I'm taking, whoops, I'm putting another one right here, right? Kind of like we did with, when we had our square and we cut it in half and we had two pieces of triangle. We're doing two, so this side is five, 
this side, oh, sorry, this side is five, this side is nine, and this side is three. So I have one trapezoid here and one trapezoid here, right? And I'm putting these together. Five plus nine is 14, so I'm making this side 14. So 14 times three um, gives me 42 centimeters. So if we had this entire thing, one big rectangle, it'd be 42 centimeters. But I just want to find this green half, and so that's why I have to do a half of it. So half of 42 is going to be 21 centimeters. Okay, so these are pretty easy. You add, you add your two bases. So you have your 10 plus 6, and you're going to multiply that times the 5. So 10 plus 6 is 16. Multiply that times the 5, which that equals 80. And then remember, we have to divide that by 2, so we get 40 centimeters. Or it's multiplied by half, which is essentially the same thing as dividing by 2. So remember, you're going to add the 3 and the 9. 9 plus 3, and then you're going to multiply that times the 8, and then you're going to divide all of that by 2. Okay, hopefully I didn't confuse you there, but let me just make sure that you've got your formula. It is. Okay, so again, you're going to do base 1 plus base 2, and then you are going to times the height, okay, and then times it by 1 half, and that is going to get you your answer. So it's base 1 plus base 2 times the height. And then you're going to divide it by, or, uh, divide it by 2 or it's multiplied by half, which we all know is the inverse, right? All right, so I will be on the floor if you need me. Good luck.